everything. Wow. We have to film this. We're not supposed to be doing this. We have to film it. Just do it. We're not going anywhere far. It's not the side of the road again. Oh man. Oh man, oh man, it's gonna be expensive. A moment where you're waiting for the camera to start more. Ning, we're doing a very different styled video today because we have come to Paris for a pretty exciting event that's coming up. And we thought that instead of doing one video of everything we're doing every day, because it's not jam packed enough to make every day that interesting, we're just gonna do one video, I reckon, of the whole trip. What do you reckon? That we're spending good, like three, four days here in Paris. We were planning on spending one. We were oh, <laughs> out of nowhere. Okay. This is why we're here. Probably very confused right now. Come around front and you'll see just how beautiful this car is. What happened is Renault so kindly and out of nowhere invited me to do the Monaco Historic Rally. Now, if you guys don't know what that is, in rally terms, that is like a legendary, legendary, I was gonna say race, but it's a rally. And I have seen it my whole life because obviously it goes to Monaco, ends in Monaco, and I've always seen all the cars lining up and being like, it would be so cool to one day do that. So Renault invited me to do this and I thought, why not? We're going from Barcelona to Monaco and all sorts of crazy places and all sorts of crazy adventures. This is the car that I will be in. I am not driving, however. I am the co-driver. My name's on the side of the car and the, the person who will be driving whilst I am co-driving will be Jean Ragnotti. Now, if you don't know that name, he is a legendary rally driver. Absolutely legendary. Look him up and you'll find out he is People love him in France, he is a superstar, so to be able to be doing this as his co-pilot is just, is literally um, almost lost for words. It's unbelievable, once in a lifetime opportunity, and it's just gonna be crazy, it's gonna be a week long, and today we've come because I need to learn basically how to become a co-pilot. Learning how to become a co-pilot turns out it's much more complicated than I thought. We got lost finding this place using Waze. I'm going to have a road book with every single corner and everything but I'll explain this more to you. I've got a machine where I need to track down every kilometer basically that we're doing it. it so much needs to happen and to give you an idea the first day we're basically driving for 24 hours so it is is it's really really hectic it's gonna be crazy today we also came to get my seat fitted so that's all done now all ready to go met Jean earlier I actually went out with him very briefly Incredible, incredible experience. This is, this is something special. The work that's going on with this steering wheel. Jean is here at the wheel. We are rocketing down these roads. Sliding, wow. Shall we show some of the interior? Let's show some interior. Yeah, can you, can you go around that end? I shall sit in my co-pilot seat. Where? Where? That's French for yes. <laughs> this is what we've been doing today, fitting the seat. This is the interior of the car. There's a steering wheel, two seats. Wow. Isn't it beautiful? The guys here at Renault Classic have adapted it for what we're going to be doing. So this is my whole scenario, which I'll explain at the start of the rally what this is, how it works, and basically this is my job during the whole rally to run this thing. And I do not want to let Jean down because he's a legend. So <laughs> I'd be a bit disappointing <laughs> if I'm like, sorry, couldn't, couldn't keep up. It's my light to read my... Oh, that's a light. Yeah. I thought it was a mic. No, 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 no. It's a light to uh, read my um, to read my road book. It's pretty comfortable. My seat. They're gonna still. They've got to do a few adjustments, and then uh, we'll see in Barcelona if it works well. And they're bringing a few things just in case I need to change it. There. We found a heater. It's probably really bad for sound, but we found a heater. If you stand there, I'll enjoy it. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll just I'll just cold. freeze. Right. That's fine. Okay. Cool. The car from the rear. There you go. <laughs> this is a Renault 8 Gordini. Again, legendary rally car. Gonna be in this with a legendary rally driver on a legendary rally, rally. <laughs> so it's, yeah, I can't wait, man. I'm really, it's such a, because Josh can't come along for the adventure, because it's two seats, obviously. Yep. Such a shame. I'm I really got in the boot. We've discussed we, this. Yeah, we actually have discussed putting Josh in the boot. But because we're going to be coming via Monaco, you're going to be there for a fair amount of it yeah. as well for the adventure. And there's not much else I can tell you without sort of spoiling too much of it because it will be happening uh, in not that long. So we figured might as well give you a little bit 
of a point of view of what's been going on here, drive back to Paris and then keep going. I'm not sure what we're going to be doing over the next few days, but we just wanted to let you know what's going and announce that I'm going to be doing the rally. If you guys are in Barcelona, Monaco, anywhere around those areas where you know the Monaco historical rally will be going, please come say hi. We would love to meet any of you guys and just yeah be able to chill out and talk cars and talk about the rally with you there are also a ridiculous amount of really cool cars here i'm not sure how much we can show you but just spin around this way i don't really know what that is but whatever it is very bloody cool yes. also does this kind of defeat the purpose of a windscreen yeah having a massive hole oh well there's also the first renault ever made like not not like a replica of the first the actual first car Renault ever made is here and that is it not sure if we're really allowed to be doing this but look that's a lot of f1 cars we have to film this we're not supposed to be doing this we have to film it just do it <laughs> is that us? i think these might even be yes look they're the two alonso cars really? i think they're probably the two that he won his two championships with See, Alonso. Ah. Not many people get to see the interior, so there that's it what it looked like. That's you seen in here? Mate, it's like a living room. I would literally have a fireplace. <laughs> I fireplace. really would. I'd have a mantelpiece and I would just sort of stand there while we're driving along, getting to my next destination. What is it? It's an Espace. Whoa, that's all carbon. Pretty cool family car. Stop getting distracted. Let's go. Let's wrap it up. That's my boy, Mark and PH right here. The Eiffel Tower is going crazy up there. We're about to go see a car. We're back in this bad boy. Yes, we are. It's about minus a million degrees outside. Where are we going? We're going home. We're going to Monaco. Wow! We spontaneously decided that rather than staying in, in Paris for a few days, we'd rather drive back to Monaco. So we've woken up early, early in the morning and we are heading back to Monaco right now, it's night. well, when I say early, early in the morning, we went to bed a bit late, which is why we feel like it is early, early in the morning. It's nine o'clock? Uh, yep, yeah, nine o'clock now. Nine o'clock now, and we got a 10 hour drive ahead of us. Wow! That's our music. Yeah. But as soon as you let your finger go, so we might take it in turns. <laughs> Not ideal. Bye, Eiffel Tower. Bye. You're being great. This is Jordan. Jordan cycling to work right now. Jordan. He does this every morning. The yeah, he's oh yes, that's right. That's where he is. That's why he's got his little satchel. Where's the hand for the indication? Yeah, I know. Can I kill a pigeon? Jesus. Oh my god. Look at how pretty Paris is. So we started on the right. Waze tells us to go left. You have to come all the way across to the left. There's no directions. You wanna come in, you're not coming in. This is mad. Absolute and this is what Paris is like. Snow! You've been missing snow during this winter. Yeah, I want to do it. I've never done it in the snow before. Look at this. I'm not gonna lie, snow does excite me. Snow, sub. Stop, so at the petrol station. We are at the petrol station. Let's get some breakfast. Oh, oh Scooby Dooby Doo. I don't know where we've stopped, but wherever it is, it's like minus 50 degrees. Okay, maybe not, but it's, it's very cold. cold. <sighs> it's so cold right now. <laughs> I've just seen the new photo of Selena Gomez. Uh, so you've showed me that four, f five times. She is so good. <laughs> I love my life. We will get married. Yeah, sure you will. Now let's whip some clothes out to be able to stuff in these things because I think they're letting air through. So cold. Like, the, so the cold. last thing I want to do is spend more time outside right now. What an odd creature. Much better. So I got two big coats on top of me. This is all stuff. That's blocked up there. The only <laughs> remaining hole yeah, is there. Yeah, um, If it's bad, I'll do it again on the motorway. Okay. What was that? Uh, I think I know what that is. What is it? There's only one thing that can be. What? Keep your feet well away from there. Why? Prop shot. You're not going anywhere far. Not the side of the road again. Oh man. So what happens when the prop shaft? Oh man, oh man, it's gonna be expensive. What's happened? Um, yeah, the prop shafts come off. Prop shafts come off? Yeah. Stuck on the side of the road, we've gone behind this barrier. 
We're waiting for the tow truck to come. She's going to be 45 minutes and then he needs to tow us to a garage where hopefully we'll try and fix the car. But it's going to A, cost a fortune and B, there's no way we're getting to Monaco unless we fix it and then drive. Well, the thing is, is it, it's the universal joint for all those that know. It's where the prop shaft goes onto the gearbox and turns the rear wheels. Up we go. <laughs> and, uh, and that is something that you just can't fix by replacing. Otherwise, I'd try to take the rear prop and put it on. It's the front prop that's gone. Otherwise, we could have front wheel drive and just take the rear prop off. But that wouldn't work. Um, so it's like a 20 quid part. But we're gonna have to spend 200 in towing just to get us off this motorway, and then whatever the garage fee charged to do it. I'd do it myself, but I doubt they're gonna let us go without them doing it. Yeah. Um, oh, it's just a nightmare. Maybe if we get it done quickly, we can then drive down to Monaco. Yeah, but yeah, I don't know. Like, I doubt we should have the part. Yeah. Did I also mention we just looked at a map and we're in the middle of uh, a forest, a <laughs> massive forest in the middle of nowhere, where to find somewhere to sleep around here. It's going to be a long drive to even just a hotel or camping. Do we have a? We forgot the tent. It's also oh, no. freezing cold. All three phones have died. All three phones of ours have just died, which is everything is going wrong. On the other hand, it looks pretty beastly sitting there. I really don't <laughs> care. Right now. It could be a P1 <laughs> GTR, and I would not care. Right now. <laughs> Sexy montage of Sebi, whatever the fuck that is, go! The only good thing is that I can eat peace. In peace. That's the only good thing about the situation. Yay! Yay! His truck looks like a nightclub. <laughs> he's got so many strobe lights and stuff on it. <laughs> also, I know what he's doing, but you know, take your time, mate. Not like we've been waiting here for an hour. <laughs> video is probably super long now so what we're gonna do is split it into two parts so watch the next video if you want to see how we get out of this situation this is Josh currently on the phone with insurance I have no idea what we're gonna do